in this module we will talk about the sterilization or the removal of viable organisms from the exhaust air but as concern our previous module we will talk uh, we talked about uh, the air sterilization that is needed to be added into the fermentation just for aerobic fermentation but as we know that uh, for the better containment level and we have very strict regulation then there is need to who remove all those viable cells from the exhaust here because if we are dealing with the some pathogenic organism then we have to assure that the gases exhausted from the fermentation vessel should be free from the microorganism but in this case when we are dealing with the exhaust here then the problem is that air is mostly wet because when that passes through the fermentation medium that contain some water vapors because the whole medium is a liquid so in many traditional fermentation the exhaust gas from the fermenter was vented without sterilization or vented through relatively inefficient depth filters so with the advent of the use of recombinant organisms and a greater awareness of the safety and the emission levels of the allergic compounds the containment of exhaust air is more common and in case of the recombinant organism become very compulsory so this is the issue when we are dealing with the, the sterilization uh, of the exhaust air so the fixed pore membrane modules are also used for this application but the system must be able to cope with the sterilization of the water saturated air as i have already told you that the exhaust air is having the saturated water content so at relatively high temperature and carrying a large contamination level so also the foam may overflow from the fermenter into the exhaust air so these are very limitation when we are selecting the sterilization process of the exhaust air so the sum from the pre treatment of the exhaust gas is necessary before it entered into the absolute uh, filter because if we directly allow the exhaust air to pass through the filter then there is the chance of the blockage due to the water vapors due to the other media content contained into that water uh, into that air so we have to use some pre filters or some treatment just to remove the water or some condensation processes in which the most of the uh, water molecules become condensed just to remain uh, inside the uh, fermentation vessel so this pre treatment may be hydrophobic pre filters or a mechanical separate to remove the water aerosol particles and the foam so the pre treated air is then fed into 0.2 micron hydrophobic filter as we have already discussed that ptf the filters so it is important to appreciate that the filtration system must be steam sterilized as well as the inlet and the outlet so in next slide you will see that uh, that how this whole system having the mechanical separator system designed so in this slide you can see that in this first diagram you can see here is the fermenter and this one is the exhaust air that how that come and if there is a condensation of the water that comes back to the fermenter and then this air is goes to by this line and here is the heater and then is uh, this one is actually the filter which we called as ptfe filter just to sterilize the air and then the air oozes out but in this diagram you can see that how this one is the fermenter and you can see that uh, this is the whole Uh, the fermenter vessel so this is the different so first one this pass through a condenser so this is the coil and the all the water which is condensed here then that would be dropped down into the fermentation vessel then that go into a turbo sap in this chamber and then again if there is a condensation then go back so then the air by this here is the heater and then just to make sure the depth of that so then here is the filter so you can see here that how this will be controlled because this filter required the sterilization pre sterilization so there is the automatic on and off valve so this is the steam inlet 
and then this whole chamber and then there is uh, the outside. So this whole system you can see that a mechanical separator and hydrophobic filter system for sterilization of the off gas from the fermenter. So you can see that how this exhaust uh, air is necessary to be sterilized and what is the possible mechanism to use the pre-filter and pre-treatment before treating the exhaust gas for sterilization. So you can see here in, again that uh, the dual hydrophobic filter system for the sterilization of the off gas. So here is the fermenter and then you can see that is the pre-filter and then steam in the barrier filter and then uh, the steam goes out. So this is the whole story of the sterilization that in each and every step sterilization is very critical. So the fermentation process without sterilization is nothing because we are only allowed to grow the organism of which we called as process organism. But after the fermentation when there is a downstreaming then there is the need of the proper disposal of the waste which we called as uh, the uh, remaining broth other than the product. And then we have to uh, maintain all the containment regulations just by killing the process organism for uh, the better environment.